we are going to discuss that icha like uh, international council for harmonization this is the one of the body which also given the guidelines to control the quality of herbal formulation or herbal drugs so let's uh, discuss uh, what is icha and uh, what are the constituents for this particular body then we will discuss about the quality control parameters given by the icah for the herbal formulations so when we see about the icah the international council for harmonization of technical requirements for pharmaceuticals for human use right is an initiative that brings together regulatory authorities and pharmaceutical industry to discuss the scientific and the technical aspects of pharmaceutical product development and registration right so here we are discussing about the icah for the herbal drug so is this is overall pharmaceutical product means it may be synthetic it may be semi synthetic or it may be natural right so we are going to discuss in this subject in this topic that what are the technical aspects and the scientific discussion it is going to be for the herbal formulation or for the crude drugs and their registration also the mission of the icah is to promote public health by achieving greater harmonization through the development of technical guidelines and requirements for the pharmaceutical product registration because if any product it is being formulated anywhere it may be the small scale it may be the large scale it has to go for registration it's not that simply any biryani or any types of pizza or burger which you will prepare by your own or in the kitchen cloud system or in somewhere in mess system that you can go for the selling those things to the public domain or to the people and you need not to go for any kinds of approval or any types of registration since these are the pharmaceutical products because herbal drug the drug word it is mentioned with the herb right so the uh, the natural products which we are going to implement or going to sell it for the or going to formulate it for the public uh, then we need to go for the registration so what are the technical guidelines that uh, this particular body is going to harmonize the harmonization leads to a more rational use of human animal and other resources the elimination of unnecessary delay in the global development and the availability of new medicines while maintaining safeguards of quality safety efficacy and also regulatory obligations to pro protect the public health if it will not be monitored the quality safety efficacy and all these things what will happen they will not go for the pre clinical trials or the clinical trials or uh, the what are the uh, technical requirement it is supposed to have with the formulation and it will go directly to the consumer there uh, there may be the life threatening adverse reaction or uh, side effects uh, which will not be able to control after launching the product into the market so that's what you have to get the approval you have to go for registration otherwise it is not possible as per the public health icah must include the professional qualifications in their requirements on the aspect of pharmacist must be qualified and organizations must be included only pharmacist related to all health organization that's what it is being told that uh, you uh, nobody can sell the pharmaceutical products into the retail shop or into the medical store there should be definitely or compulsory one degree or diploma in the pharmacy the person who has employed for the that particular retail he has to be or supposed to have this particular types of qualification otherwise it will be considered illegal 
let us discuss about the history what is this body history when it has been established and what are the countries behind this particular body in 1980 right so almost uh, uh, 40 years ago right in 1980 the european union began the harmonizing regulatory requirements right so again once again european countries uh, they started this thing in 1989 after 9 year the europe japan and the united states began creating plans for the harmonization so these three country again came forward and uh, they started the harmonization process for that particular body the international conference on harmonization of technical requirements for registration of pharmaceutical for human use right so always you should remember pharmaceuticals for human use it means pharmaceuticals may be for the other use also so that's what was created in april 1990 at a meeting of brussels right ics had the initial objective of coordinating uh, the regulatory activity of the european japanese and uh, united states regulatory bodies in consultation with the pharmaceutical trade associations from these regions this particular area to discuss and uh, agree the scientific aspects arising from the product registration what are the basic aspects supposed to be considered whether it has been tested into any other biological system or not if it has been tested what was the label of significant whether it is showing the proper types of effectiveness or safety or not that's what before launching the vaccination of covid-19 the people uh, the pharmaceutical companies they have gone through the different phases right they have checked into the healthy volunteer they have checked into the covid patient they have increased the number of patient like that they are passing all the phases when it will be satisfactory or the level of significance it will reach up to the mark then only the particular products can be launched to the public domain since the new millennium the ics attentions has been directed towards the extending the benefits of harmonizations beyond the founding ics regions in 1950 sorry in 2015 the ics underwent several reforms and changed its name of the international council for harmonization of technical requirements for pharmaceutical for human use while becoming a legal entity in switzerland as a non profit association right like who also now it is working in the non profit association so ics also the main objective or the main intention to forming such kinds of body it was not to get the profit to serve the public health the aim of these reforms was to transform ich into a truly global initiative supported by a robust and transparent governance structure right whatever the governance or the rules and regulation they are going to implement that should be transparent it should be uh, available for the public the ich association established an assembly as the overarching governing body with the aim of focusing global pharmaceutical regulatory harmonization work whatever it is going on in one venue at one place that allows pharmaceutical regulatory authorities and the concerned industry organizations to be more actively involved in ics harmonization work or ics harmonization steps which they are going to take a newly assembly met for the first time on 23rd of october in 2015 so you can see here in this slide that how it has started from european union then other countries they came forward and uh, it has uh, reformed by uh, uh, taking the intention that it should be non profit association and uh, after all at the last uh, first time in 23rd october 2015 this new assembly met with this uh, focus so let us discuss about the how the constituents or structure it is there in the ich 
ICS comprises of the following bodies. The first one, ICS Assembly. The second one, ICH Management Committee. And the third one, uh, Med DRA Management Committee and the ICS Secretariat. The ICS Assembly brings together all the members and observes of the ICS Association as the overreaching governing body of ICH. Right. It adopts decisions in particular on matters such as on the adoption of ICS guidelines, admissions of new members and uh, observes all those things. And uh, the ICS association works plans and uh, also budget, annual budget, how it is going to be, right? Member representatives appointed to assembly are supported by ICS coordinators who represent each member to the ICS secretariat on a daily basis, not weekly or monthly basis, on the daily basis, right? How they are going to do and what are the things they have done. The ICS management committee that is also called MC is the body that oversees operational aspects of ICH on behalf of all the members countries, including administrative and financial matters and uh, oversight of the working group, how it is going to happen. The MED DRA management committee that is MC has re uh, responsibility for direction of MED DRA. The ICH is uh, centralized medical terminology. The medicinal the drug regulatory affairs management committee has the role of managing, supporting and facilitating the maintenance development and uh, dissemination of medicinal DRA. The ICS secretariat, that is the fourth one, fourth structure, the constituents is responsible for day to day management of ICH, coordinating ICS activities as well as providing support to the assembly. The management committee and working groups, these three assembly management committee and working groups, these three things, it is providing the support and uh, monitoring the activities. The ICS Secretariat also provides support for the Med DRA Management Committee. And uh, the ICS Secretariat is located in Geneva, Switzerland. Right. So you should remember this where it is located, where it is situated. The Secretariat of ICS in the Geneva, Switzerland. You should know. The ICS VG's uh, wages are established by the assembly when a new technical topic is accepted for the harmonization and are charged with developing a harmonized guidelines that meets the objective outlined in the concept paper and the business plan. Face to face meeting, how you are doing into the Zoom or in the uh, uh, Skype and all those things, face to face meeting of the WZ will normally only take place during the biannual ICH meetings. Interims reports are made at each meeting of the assembly and made publicly available on the ICH website. Now also you can browse the ICH website. What is the meeting recently it has been conducted and what was the steps, what were the key points, the minutes of the meeting, you can go through key points. They discussed what are the decision has been taken and what kind, what is the kind of uh, uh, guidelines they're going to form and uh, they're going to change. All those things can be discussed. So let us discuss how the harmonization process works. ICS harmonization activities falls into four categories. The formal ICS procedure, the quality and assurance procedure, revision procedure, and the maintenance procedure, right? What is the formal procedure in the first lean quality and assurance procedure? The revision procedure means how we are going to revise and um, whatever it is existing, the guidelines, how we are going to maintain, depending on the activity to be undertaken. The development of a new harmonized guideline and its implementation, that's uh, the formal ICS procedure, involve five steps. Whenever new guidelines, suppose if you are uh, prepared any cold cream. So how you are going to have this uh, 
which kind of guidelines uh, you are supposed to follow so in that uh, you can see in the first step consensus building the vg works to prepare a consensus draft of the technical documents based on the objective set out in the concept paper when consensus on the draft is reached with the within a vg the technical experts of vg will sign the step 1 experts sign up sheet and the step 1 experts technical document is then submitted to the assembly to request adoption under the technical uh, step 2 of ics process so here the form uh, what we can understand here in the, the step 1 experts technical document right experts technical document it is submitted to the assembly and this uh, submission is to for the request the adoption to under the step 2 so what happened in step 2a it is divided in uh, a b c d so confirmation of consensus on the technical documents whatever the concern uh, whatever the things uh, the points has been mentioned in that technical document whether it is able to confirm or not or need to have any changes that they are going to discuss in step 2a is reached when a assembly agrees based on the report of the vg that there is a sufficient scientific consensus on the technical issues for the technical documents to proceed to the next stage of regulatory consultation right the assembly then adopts the step 2a technical documents when they will full uh, satisfy with the technical issues or technical uh, documents uh, points the consensus then they are going to have the what do you call adoption or confirmation the adoption of draft guidelines by regulatory members then they are going to uh, frame the draft guidelines with this has to be the first you need to uh, go for uh, quality control you need to go for identification test uh, assay then uh, uh, clinical trials uh, then launching into the market all those things the step 2a is reached when the regulatory members of assembly further adopts the draft guidelines in step 3 regulatory consultation and discussion step 3 occurs in three distinct stages regulatory consultation discussion and finalization of the step 3 expert draft guidelines whatever the guidelines points has been drafted by the experts uh, that has to be consulted with the other expertise and discuss whether need to be changed or it is okay to implement and at last uh, if required they will remove some point and they will add some point addition and deletion then they are going to finalize right here uh, again three stages are there in that the first stage the regional regulatory consultation the guidelines embodying the scientific consensus leaves the ics process and become the subject of normal wide ranging regulatory consultation in the ics regions the regulatory authorities and industry association in other region in other places or other venue may also comment on the draft consultation documents by providing their comments in ics secretariat right like uh, uh, it has it need the particular now that uh, that farmer bill has been passed by the government but uh, the farmers are not happy in the punjab in so many other state and they have gone for the strike protest it is going on for the long time because they are not agree to be implement that particular types of guidelines or rules and regulations right so that's what it when it will come into the domain other industries right other A regulatory authorities and industry association they will show their action their reaction whether they are happy they are agree or they are disagree if they are disagree what is their comments all those things second stage discussion of regional consultation comments after obtaining all comments from the consultation process the ewg works to address the comments received and reach consensus on 
what is called uh, the step three experts draft guideline, right? Then stage three in this uh, the finalization of step three experts draft guidelines. If after due consideration of the consultation results by the WZ, the consensus is reached among us the experts on the revised version of the step to be draft guideline. The step three expert draft guidelines is signed by the experts in ICH regulatory members. The step three experts draft guidelines with regulatory W E W G signatures is submitted. This committee signatures is to be submitted to the regulatory members of the assembly and request adoption for the step four ICH process. So once this three step will complete, it will go to the step four. adoption of ics harmonized guidelines how they are going to adopt or implement step 4 is reached when the regulatory members of the assembly agree that there is a sufficient scientific consensus on the draft guidelines and adoption of the ics harmonized guidelines it is suitable then it will go for the step 5 in step 5 implementation or the the uh, what do you call launching of the particular guidelines the ich harmonized guidelines moves intermediately to the final step of the process that is the regulatory implementation this step is carried out according to the same national and regional procedure that apply to other regional regulatory guidelines and requirements in the ich region which particular country which particular area right information on the regulatory action taken and implementation dates are reported back to the assembly and published by the ich secretariat on the ich website right so my suggestion is if you once you browse the ich website and uh, after reading this you can uh, understand that what is going to happen there in their websites day to day the guidelines generally what kind of guidelines ich forming what is they have formed what these kinds of uh, long procedure why they are taking so ics topics are divided into the four categories and ics topics codes are assigned according to these categories like q so q means quality guidelines as the the first letter of the word uh, it is indicating q s means safety guidelines where wherever it is e e code is there efficacy guidelines or if it is m code it is multidisciplinary guidelines so qsem right these four guidelines men uh, basically it is divided ics guidelines are not mandatory for anybody per se but uh, any uh, but the strength of ics process lies in the commitment for the implementation by ics regulatory members using appropriate national and uh, regional tool because in india it is going to be different the implementation procedure in pakistan it is going to be different in bangladesh it is going to be different so they are going to uh, do the implementation by ich regulatory members using what using appropriate national and regional tool what is the tool existing in india what is the method of implementing these particular guidelines in india it is going to be different in european country it is going to be different in australia like that so they are going to implement right so this is basically ich which we need to know and uh, later we have to discuss about what is the type of guidelines it has given in the when it comes to the herbal formulation or herbal drugs